Hello Lana. I am teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our les lesson today in grade 4 Science and Technology, today we will look at environment and air pollution. And before we continue with our lesson today, let us rewind on our previous lesson on teeth and we said how many hard out person teeth does he or she has. We said how many teeth does an adult person have. John, we said how many teeth? 32 teeth. Correct. We said an adult has 32 teeth. And we said we have how many types of teeth in our mouth? Victoria, we have four types of teeth. Now, I want us to pair in two and look at the pictures that we have on our textbooks. In the pictures, what can you see? What can you see in those pictures? In pairs, the first person from you, Tom, what can you see in the first picture? Yes, someone cooking, but there is a lot of smoke from the kitchen. Correct. And you, James, in the second picture, you can see what from you, James? Yes, a vehicle, but emitting smoke from the exhaust. That is correct. And you, Victoria, on the third picture, what can you see? Plastics piled up on a bucket, but they are being set on fire and they are emitting smoke. That is correct. Now, where, where do you think this smoke is going to? Definitely, it is entering to the atmosphere or to the environment. And now, we say this smoke is polluting the environment and in particular, the hair, because we can't touch the smoke. So we say it is polluting the hair. Are we together, learners? Yes. Now, what is pollution then? We say pollution. We say pollution. What do we say pollution is? If we have seen vehicles emitting smoke, a person cooking, but there's a lot of smoke coming from the kitchen, plastics being set ablaze, but they are emitting a lot of smoke, what do we say then pollu pollution is? Pollution is the introduction of harmful substances in the environment. Pollution is the introduction of harmful substances in the environment. Can we repeat that together? Pollution is the introduction, introduction of harmful substances of harmful substances in the environment. That is pollution. And the introduction of these harmful substances in the environment, they can either be introduced to hair, to plants, to animals, or and other non-living things. All living things, all non-living things, they are found in the environment. And when you introduce harmful substances to this environment, we say this is pollution. But now in our case, let us come back to air pollution. In our groups now, what do you think causes air pollution? What do you think causes this air pollution? Now we have seen a vehicle in the first picture, in the second picture, sorry, a vehicle emitting smoke. And we have seen the first picture, a person cooking, but there's a lot of smoke coming from the kitchen. Now, this smoke is entering to the atmosphere. The air around, around these people or around us is being polluted by the smoke. So what causes this, uh, this pollution in our groups? What do you think is air pollution? And we say air pollution is now the introduction of the harmful substances, now not to the environment alone, but specifically 
to the air. Introduction of harmful substances to the air. Can we repeat that together? In air pollution, air pollution is the introduction of harmful substances to the hair. That is air pollution. Now I would like you in the groups you discuss what are some of these substances that can be introduced in the atmosphere and yet they are harmful. Introduction of harmful substances, sorry, harmful substances, harmful substances to the air. Now, what are some of these harmful substances that can be introduced to the air? What are some of these harmful substances? They include what are some of these harmful substances? In our picture, we have seen smoke being one of them. That is correct. Smoke is one of the harmful substances that has been introduced to the air. So we say one is smoke. And other, from you, Victoria, another example of harmful substance that can be introduced to the air. Correct, dust. Dust is another example of harmful substance. Dust is another example of harmful substance that can be introduced to the air. And now, once this has been introduced, we say our air has been polluted. Our air has been polluted. And other substance that can be introduced, and you can remember in your homes, this, when it has been released to the air, will pollute the air. Anybody can remember and say something? Yes, when you burn plastics, when you burn tires of vehicle, they will emit smoke to the atmosphere. And this smoke then, it will pollute the environment or it will pollute the air. So we say also, this burning of harmful substances like tire and plastics, they will emit the smoke, which will also pollute the air around us. So we have burning of plastics, plastics and tires. When you burn plastics and tires, they will also pollute the environment. So these are some of harmful substances that are found within us or that can pollute the air in particular. So we have said air pollution is introduction of harmful substances to the air. Because we had learned earlier that pollution is the introduction of harmful substance to the environment. And we said you can introduce them either to the soil, to the plants, to animals, and to all other non-living things. But in particular, today we are looking at introduction of harmful substances to the air. And we said when you introduce harmful substances to the air, you are polluting air. And from the picture that we have seen, we have seen earlier is that pictures demonstrate or they display emission of smoke to the air. And this smoke that has been emitted then pollutes the air because it has been introduced to the natural air. In our groups, this is the activity that you, I want you to undertake. Activity for us to undertake. When you go home, kindly ask your parent to assist you with his tablet or a tablet and just investigate more about air pollution. How, does, how is air being polluted? What pollutes air apart from the harmful substances that we have just mentioned? Another substance that pollutes the air. Then take photos and print them so that we can attach them in our portfolio for a future reference. And that marks the end of our lesson. See you in the next time.